Thing. Who, me? Uh, no. Go ahead, dude. I'm watching. Okay, Luke. The coast is clear? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Here I go! Watcha! Whoa! Oh. Ah! Thanks for the heads up, Luke. Sorry, Robinson. Luke was supposed to warn me if anybody came along. Luke? Who might that be? Uh -huh. mm. You know what the coolest thing about space travel is? Plotting the trajectory. That's what. The slightest error and bam, you can fly smack dab into a meteorite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Luke. Mm hmm. You need to look both ways before you cross. S -s Sorry, it's just that Luke. Luke? I don't see anyone. Hmm? Uh, wait a second, Luke. That's my glass. Man, ever since he got Operation Gazoid for his birthday, that's all he does now. Think, eats, and sleeps. What's so special about this game anyway? Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to rescue Princess Gazorgaline, who is being held hostage by the infamous Gazorgo the First. Well, frankly, this has gone too far. Luke thinks, eats, sleeps, mmm. Gazorg on this, Gazorgo the First. And now he even speaks Gazorgan. I bet he's so absorbed, he can't hear a thing. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Nice going, Benny. My Gazorgo! Gazorgo! <laughs> Everything is gonna be all right, my sweet Gazorg. With Benny here and the right tools, she'll be right as right in no time. Hmm. Uh, you're not gonna Gazorgo her all out of shape, are you? Don't worry, Luke. We'll fix your game console. Gazorg. Uh. Mm. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> now, Benny, take as much time as you need to fix the console. Yeah, and I think we really ought to take advantage to show Luke that there are all kinds of super cool things you can do instead. Well, what do you know? It's Luke. What you doing here? I'm bored. Mm -hmm. We're going over to the skate park. Why don't you tag along? Nah, not interested. All I want to do is play Operation Gazorg. We could play, uh, Operation Skateboard instead. If you want to clear your head, you need to go outside and get some fresh air. <sighs> you see that awesome trick? That wasn't virtual, that was real. Huh? Come on, Luke, you're the best! Huh? Oh. Mm. Ouch! Luke, uh, are you okay? Ugh, I hate the real world. 
In Operation Gazor, you can teleport yourself anywhere you want. Skateboards stink. Skateboards stink? Skateboards stink. Huh, what a jerk. That's okay. We'll do something else. Maybe we could... Mm, Play Operation uh, Kazorg! Mm. Now that's an idea. I love theater, so let's play Operation Gazorg! Aha! The infamous Gazorgo the First! How dare you hold me hostage in your evil planet! Silence, Princess Gazorgaline! Otherwise I'll blast your face off with my cannon! But, uh, that's rather rude. When my hero comes to rescue me, you'll feel the power of his ire. His ire? What the heck is that? Ire? There's no such weapon in level four. This play is totally lame. But it's a play. It's not a video game. Hmm. <sighs> ah. And then he goes, skateboard stink. You tell him, bro. Huh? You fixed the console already? Uh, yeah. But hey, I still gotta test to see if it really works. <laughs> Not now, Benny. You gotta take over for me with Luke and teach him how to have fun in the real world. You're right. Hurry! He's over at the skate park with Lee May and Clara. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> now it's just me and you, Gazorgo the First. Now what? What are we supposed to do? Observe the fascinating spectacle of nature. All I can see is concrete. This stinks. I want to play Operation Gazorg. Look, two ants carrying breadcrumbs. <gasps> Fantastic. They're bringing food back to their colony. Ah, uh -huh. I recognize them. They're just like uh -huh. the mini Gazorgs in level four. We need to crush them before huh? they explode. Uh -huh. Stop! Hey! Are you nuts? These are real ants. This isn't a game. I got something that should huh? interest you. I found a way to send a message to Gazorg on the first. No way. Playing Gazorg is at the end of infinity, beyond the frontiers of the universe. There's nothing that science can't conquer. <laughs> at the end of infinity. And there we go, destination set. Here, now write down your message to Garzorgo the first. A message? Hmm. <laughs> ha! There we go, I'll let you do the honors. that used too much sulfuric potato lithium bicarbonate. Your real world games stink. Mm -hmm. I want to play Operation Gazorg. Talk about a lost cause. I was sure that if we could just get him away from that stupid game. I have to admit, it's pretty addicting. Not everyone is lucky enough to have a real hobby like crafts. Why, that's it. We didn't try that. Not a chance. All he cares about is his console. That's it. We just need the right project. Huh? Hmm? Crafts in action! Hmm? What's it for? Three things. One, it protects the screen from scratches. Two, it protects it from the rain. Three, it's certified anti-shocks. And four, if we work on it all together, it'll be ready in less than an hour. So, what do you say? That would really be awesome, guys. Done. And what about the shoulder strap, Clara? An old shoelace. Now all we need are the finishing touches. How's it going over there? Fantastic! We're already on level three! 
How in the world did I get so wrapped up with that video game? When all you need is an old pair of jeans, a shoelace, and some red felt? To make a super crafty kid console case! This is so cool! I don't know what to say! Gazord! Gazord! Hmm? Hey, where's my console anyway? Clara? console everywhere you go, but you're afraid you might break it? No problem. The Crafty Kids are going to show you how to make a super console case. First you need... Some old jeans. Some scissors. A lace from a tennis shoe. Some colored felt. Some fabric glue. And a marker. Step one. Cut the legs of the jeans around the knees. Remember you need at least three times the size of your console because you're gonna fold this part. Step two, fold the piece of jeans you just cut into three equal parts. Use the scissors to make a hole in each side, at the top of the folded parts and through all the layers. Step three, thread the shoelace through the holes and tie knots on each side. Step four, Use the marker to draw stars on the felt or simple geometric shapes, little hearts, moons, whatever you like. Then cut them out. Step five, arrange the felt decorations on the front of your case and attach them with the fabric glue. Let them dry. Step six, ta-da! You can slide your console into its case. Rest assured, it's well protected. And you can even make another case for your personal stuff for games. But for now, let's play! <laughs>